In this video, I'm going to show you how to use AI, aka artificial intelligence, to write blog copy. Woo woo! <laughs> My name is Kelly Noble Mirabella, and today we're going to learn the fine art of using artificial intelligence, or AI for short, which is a type of software that's been designed by humans in order to make them more efficient. Yes, robots can help us. Jarvis has quickly become one of the most popular tools in marketing because it can be used to create all kinds of content from YouTube hooks and outlines and descriptions like this one that I actually just basically read to you. That's right, it was written by Jarvis, all the way to long form blog content. While Jarvis offers many templates that make it easy to create short form content, boss mode is where the party is at. It is the perfect tool for creating long form content but it can be tricky for newbies. So let me walk you through how it works and show you some handy recipes to make your content creation with Jarvis AI smooth as butter. All right, it's not really a cooking show, but let's do this. We're gonna jump into boss mode and I'm gonna show you how to use a recipe to write long form content. So over here on the dash, on the side, on the left side, you're gonna see templates, documents, trash, and outputs. So we're gonna head over to documents. Now in the templates tab, you can click here on this purple box or you can click on documents. It's gonna take you to the same place essentially. So when you come here, you're gonna pick what kind of document you wanna use. Now, if you are in boss mode, you're gonna just go from scratch. That's what I'm gonna show you today. So we're gonna go scratch. I wanna show you some little tips first. So down here, you see in the corner, pro tips, right? We wanna click on that. This is actually where I actually finally got around to spending some time and I learned how to make it work for me. And by the way, I've been outputting a ton, a ton of blog content on my Medium blog with the help of Jarvis. If you wanna check out examples, I'll go ahead and link my Medium blog down below. All right, so they have a boss mode training if you wanna dive in even deeper than what I'm gonna teach you today. There's also a cheat sheet lots of good stuff in there, and then the keyword shortcuts. This is something you'll use quite extensively as well. In fact, your two favorite best friends in boss mode is gonna be Command J for your next sentence, or you can click the purple button on the lower area over there, or Command Enter, which is actually gonna be our best friend when we're using formulas to tell boss mode, this is what I want you to do. So let me show you a recipe that will help you write blog content. So we're gonna actually go back out to my documents, I already have a recipe set up. You can use this exact recipe for a lot of your content. So go ahead and copy it down if you'd like. So this is my first recipe. We are going to give commands to Jarvis. This is boss mode commands. Command number one is gonna be write some blog post titles about this topic, whatever our topic of choice is. Then the next step is I wanna write a brief about this topic idea. And then we're gonna have it write a topic, create an outline, and then write a conclusion. And then we can go back and fill in the blank. So let's say I want to write an article all about chatbots. So then my topic is gonna be chatbots. Oop. Okay, <laughs> so here's my first recipe command. It's write some blog post titles about chatbots. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my little finger on command and I'm going to hit the return button. So it's command enter, command return. It's gonna highlight this whole command and then it's gonna start doing what I told it to do. So it's giving me three options. If you wanna keep going and getting more ideas, we just do Command J or we hit that purple button down here. It's gonna give us some more ideas. All right, so I'm actually just going to delete anything extra. Jarvis will, a lot of times when you expand things, put stuff in there that you don't necessarily want, and that's okay. It is a robot after all, you're the human, so go ahead and take out the stuff you don't want. So once you've decided on the title that you like, let's say, I really like what is the difference between AI and chatbots. This is the title that we're gonna go with. Now you can absolutely save these other ideas in another document. Maybe you wanna write blogs about every one of these because you think they're that fantastic. I know I have done that. You go ahead and save them. For our purposes now, I'm gonna just delete them. All right, so in our title, we're gonna add the title that we chose. There we go. What is the difference between AI and chatbots? Our next article brief, write an article about the title, right? Because that's the first command that we gave it. So we're actually gonna fill in where it says topic. We're just gonna put in what is the difference between AI and chatbot. We're gonna go on the outside here. You notice that my cursor is right next to the command. We're gonna hit command return or command enter. And now it's writing the actual brief that we can then input into our left side inputs. 
So there you go. You can obviously read through this, make sure it makes sense. It's what you, kind of the direction you want. So we're going to cut that out and put it over here in our content brief. Go ahead and put the keywords that you want to trigger. If you are using tools like Surfer SEO or Phrase.io, then they can actually help you come up with some really great keywords. But if you already have something in mind, go ahead and put that down. I'm going to put chatbots and you can put in three. So go for it. We have my language as English. I could do a short output and a medium output or a long output for the introduction and the outline and the conclusion. I'm going to go with a medium output. So we'll start with that. So again, we're going to go up here to our title. We're going to copy that. I'm going to go to write an introduction. I'm going to fill in my title where the topic is. And again, command return. And you'll see here at the end of my introduction paragraph, it just stopped. Well, that's because I told Jarvis to only do a medium output. If I want Jarvis to go ahead and continue, maybe I like what he's saying, then I'm just gonna go Command J or I'm gonna hit the purple button and Jarvis will just keep writing until basically I start deleting stuff and give him a different command. If you don't like any of this, I could just delete, start over. Trust me, I've done that. Sometimes it just takes some finagling. There is also a shortcut for that. If we go in here to our keyboard shortcuts and you want him to rerun the last, you would just do command plus with, I don't know what that thing is called. I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments, the thing. <laughs> so go ahead and do that if you wanted to rewrite. But for our purposes for this video, because I wanna keep it short and sweet and just show you how recipes work, we're just gonna go with that. So I'm just gonna delete this last part here, or maybe I will hand write something. I do highly recommend that if you're gonna use Jarvis, don't let it write all the content for you. If you go in and read my Medium article, I actually will let Jarvis write quite a bit and then I'll go in and start writing. And oftentimes I'll put the outline, which I'm about to show you how to write right now, and I'll put it in a different document and then I will just kind of piecemeal, if you will, the outline in Jarvis and put it all into Grammarly and bring it all together. And I'll show you how I do that in a moment. So we're gonna actually go ahead and create our outline. So again, we're gonna go to our title and copy that. And as you can see, when it comes to Jarvis and boss mode, you're literally just telling Jarvis exactly what you want it to do. You write the command and you just do that, that command return. And that's what recipes are. They're just commands. So in this case, the next step in the recipe is create an outline for what is the difference between AI and chatbots. And I'm going to go command return. Now you might prefer to do the outline before you do the introduction. That's totally up to you. Uh, that might actually be a better way to go, but however you want to do it, just formulate your recipe before you get started. So you kind of have a flow or a process for how you're going to write your blog. So here we go. So you can see here, I don't even like this at all. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this one. So I would just say command plus and the little guy. There we go. There you go. He's going to rewrite it. Now, whatever you do, you see that Jarvis kind of started writing up here. Don't touch your keyboard until Jarvis is done or content is going to be written all over the place. He's going to keep writing whether you like it or not. Now from here, the next thing that I recommend doing, this is part of my process, is I actually will take this entire document here and I'm going to put it in like a note or what have you. See, I have a note here. You can do it on like Google document, whatever you're into, just a place. I call it the trash file. It's not really trash. It's all your good stuff, right? So what I'm actually going to do is just do one section at a time, depending on how Jarvis is reacting and what type of content you're having. You may need to have each one of those outline items in their own Jarvis document. I say that because sometimes, you know, Jarvis is going to be picking up all this stuff from the side, from your content brief and your title, and it might seem very repetitive. So if you're getting a lot of repetitive content or it's just not what you want it to be, you want them to be more in depth on that topic, create a completely separate document, title it whatever that outline topic is for in this case, what is artificial intelligence? I would then title it what is artificial intelligence and I would have Jarvis write me an entire article about what is artificial intelligence. This is also a really good tip if you're looking to write really long form, like over 1500 words, you want it to go on and on and on and be a lot more in depth than what you're gonna wanna do is separate out your sections of your outline, your chapters, whatever you want to call it. So let's go ahead and write this. What is artificial intelligence? As part of our commands, there's a couple of ways we can do this. I can either say, answer the question, what is artificial intelligence? Command J and he'll do that. Or I could say, write a paragraph about the above. What is artificial intelligence? Or I could write, write a paragraph about 
what is artificial intelligence and make that the command. So there's three different options here. In this case, I'm gonna write, answer the question, what is artificial intelligence? We're gonna go to the end of the command, hit command, return, command enter, and watch what happens. Okay, so he answers the question. Maybe I want him to keep going. If I wanna keep going, I'm gonna push command J or compose. Now, another thing I wanted to show you is right now, again, we're in output medium. So we're only getting a medium output here. If I want longer output, then I'm gonna go with the L, the longer. Now, when I'm writing long form content, I generally go with this. Just keep in mind, you're gonna to have to go back and reread and adjust things, but look at how much more complex the answers are. You can see it goes through here. Something else I wanna point out to you is not everything in Jarvis is accurate. <laughs> I was actually surprised at how much was accurate, especially historical information about like the background of AI or chatbot. So the key takeaway is when you're using Jarvis to write your content, make sure you fact check. It's really easy actually. Uh, you can see here's an example, the first chatter, chatter bot. Well, I already know that I wanna change that. Chat bot was Eliza created by Joseph Weizenbaum in 19, 1966. Okay, so we're gonna actually go here and copy that sentence. I'm gonna go to Google and I'm just gonna Google the sentence and this will very quickly tell me if that's true. And in fact, it is true, isn't that crazy? So fact check. The other thing I would recommend that you do is before you even start this process, before you even start your recipe, go and collect all of the statistical data that you might want to include. All right, so once you have your outline, you're putting in all your information and then you can tell Jarvis to write a conclusion. Again, it's really important that you as the human are going in, making corrections, making sure it's accurate, making it sound actually good, <laughs> because sometimes Jarvis sounds great and sometimes Jarvis needs help. And then after all is said and done, then I go to Medium or my blog or wherever I wanna post it. I put in those images that I wanna use, I format it and boom, I have content. If you wanna try Jarvis out for free for yourself, you can get a seven day trial. Go to the link down in the comment pinned below or in the description. If you have questions, if there's something you want me to cover in a future video about Jarvis, AI, copywriting, any of the tools that I've covered, go ahead and comment below and let me know. If you found this helpful, hit me with a thumbs up. That would be like the coolest thing for you to do for me. And of course, share with a friend if you think that it is valuable. Thank you so much for watching. Now check out the next video that's popping up right now.